Data from Forbes ranks Arizona in the top 30% of states for road rage, a trend that may not be too surprising for drivers here in southern Arizona. Kega 9's Kenny Dar is here to break it all down. Metro Tucson has seen several fatal road rage incidents this year alone. The most recent happening this summer when 56 year old Martin Bloom lost his life after being shot by 77 year old Robert Ryan. New data from Forbes ranked Arizona as the 14th worst state for road rage after taking the number one spot in 2023. There is a lot of road rage. They get mad if you're not going fast enough. They drive defensively and carefully. You know, don't try to push people off the road. Another road rage incident happened back in March here off East Snyder Road. According to the Pima County Sheriff's Office, two men got into an altercation. One man left his vehicle going up to the vehicle of the other man before punching him in the face as he walked away. That's when the other man grabbed his gun, shot the other man in the back, ultimately killing him before calling 911 and reporting self-defense. There's there's a lack of patience. The Forbes study reported 36% of Arizona drivers have been blocked from merging or switching lanes. 42% reported being purposely cut off. 59% saying they've been tailgated. Disengage. That's the biggest thing. Don't don't feed into it. Don't uh, don't try to one up. Don't uh, give gestures or or try to break check or any of those other things. Just disengage. Get away from them. Let them go on. Four drivers like Noreen Walker, who previously lived in this year's number one state for road rage, California. She's seen it all and has done her best to keep her composure when confronted by angry drivers. I just stay calm and I. Um don't get upset and just know that those people are out there. Reporting from the east side near East Snyder, Kenny Dar, Kega 9.